Yes, people are watching. I don't see any comments. But I have received something. Did I? Can't see very well what's going on. But let's start drawing. I'm drawing Frankie. Just for a portrait. Keeps disappearing every so often. I wonder why. I'm not closing it, I'm not doing anything. Just disappears. With zero likes, I guess there is a couple of people watching. Thank you. It's really tired here. Hello, how are you? Can't see exactly your name, but I'll try to see. Ellie? Is it Ellie? Hi, Ellie. Guess if you want more people to see my work, you could like it. You could like what I'm doing, and it will bring more people into the life. So it could like motivate me to do more lives. His eyes are a little, I think, farther. I do this just to resolve some issues. To resolve issues with uh, my drawings. So this is how it goes. Let's say I want to paint this in the future. I got some ideas of where it went. went. It's kind of a learning experience of learning how far or what I need to do to paint something like this. They say, practice makes perfect. A lot of artists, they just start with nothing and they end up with nothing. I don't know how many people are in lives right now. Let's use her. Let's use mouth. I'm gonna go around here. It's my first time trying to draw this pose. Always try to figure out where the light is coming from because that will be very important to see that. Nobody's watching. But this can continue. Drawing and drawing. Yeah. 
nothing this one also right my view of the phone is backwards so it's kind of hard to read sometimes I want to get a better setup next time I'm still trying to get those lives to do them correctly still don't have a good setup I guess I could invest in something it will be a better way to do it goes like this a little bit there's the second nostril down here yeah, that's about right that's about right this is just a rough sketch something I want to paint figure out what I want to do maybe I'll move it over a little bit oh, I think that's a little better that's a little better view of what I'm drawing So if you like it, if you're still here, you can just press the like button. Just like this. Send some hearts my way. To show the work a little more. Okay. I like when the this is going kind of. It's a slow process. The shading, finding out where the light comes from, and slowly getting the subject going. just the practice practice for painting I want to do a portrait I wanted to do a portrait last time but there was some work I didn't like the posture that much I didn't like the composition so from the drawing so this is the second one I'm gonna try Always watch where the light is coming from. That's kind of important. Hello guys. Hello everybody that's joining the live. I wish that people would talk, would be able to talk more. To be able to talk. And I could hear them. That would be a lot easier. And make the background dark so his face pops up oh there is somebody at my door oh. thank you for joining guys thank you i started with like one person and now i have already like 40 people i think it's 40 or 14 people ah, it's backwards on my phone you gotta figure that stuff out with those lives. I've been doing regular TikToks for a while. With lives, I think, are kind of more fun since I can do a longer video when I do a live. People can just watch me do my thing on a live. You know, you can save it. And maybe I'll save them and post them on YouTube. If you want to check out my YouTube channel, it is in the 
It is in the comments up there. You can see my YouTube channel. His hair is kind of going like this. Like this. And like this. It's just a light sketch of in preparation for a painting. I like to do those sketches because they resolve a lot of issues before I can start. If you like what I'm doing, just hit the like button and I'll be able to know that you guys like it and are reacting to my videos that you are here. And what is more? What does the artist like more than appreciation from people who are watching? drawing just a little drawing here okay. make those make that shirt more round I think this kind of gives the idea always watch where the light is coming from so that's kind of gonna show you where the things are at Measuring is good. If you measure with your pencil, just you know, see what is right and what is wrong. And are the eyes crooked? Maybe the eyes are crooked a little bit in this drawing. But nothing is perfect in life. So if you like me, the video, just press the like button. Press it a couple times and it will show up likes will show up and if you don't like it i mean don't but i hope you like it you like what i do you like how i'm doing this thing what i like to use for the eraser are like those black erasers and uh, yeah, they erase really nice, so if you want to erase something, they don't leave any mark. So, kind of nice. We were at restaurant when this happened. He was kind of, Frank, he was tired. And... Uh, so it's funny how you can just get kids to be so tired that they don't want to talk, they're not angry, they want to be mischievous. Uh, hi, hi for joining. Do you guys have any requests of what would you like me to draw next? Future, I'm gonna be working on this today. The portrait is coming out pretty nice. I'm catching the look, the look and feeling of what he looked like. I'm using those uh, regular hard pencils, HB pencil, I guess it's called, but I can also use some other pencils, like I like those softer pencils, and those softer pencils, uh, the charcoal prank pencils, you can pull, a, pull the string and just sharpen them, the prank pencils with the string, you pull the string and it just that's it, go. So, prank pencils kind of are cool. So they're really dark, 
So if you want to darken something really quick, just darken it really quick. You see like this. And if I darken the background, if I do this, it will make the face pop more. It'll make the and it will make the little changes here and there. If you want to see more drawings by me, please follow and like if you haven't. And also press that plus button. That always helps. Hello everybody that's joining. Hi, how are you guys? Tembukan, that's the way you pronounce the name, I think. Well, what I'm drawing is uh, is uh, a portrait of my son. We're at a restaurant, and he was really tired. I think it was in. Where were we at? Uh, Wisconsin, Door County. He was really tired, waiting for the food. So what I'm gonna, so what it is, it's, I wanna do a portrait. I do a portrait of all my kids. I like doing portraits of them and my family members. Just, uh, it's a good practice. And they have something when I'm one day when I'm not around, I guess they're gonna have something they can appreciate, hopefully. Since uh, I've been doing art since I was a kid, and they can appreciate uh, maybe something I like personal, you can leave them money. And they can spend the money wherever they want to, but art, you can always appreciate the art. Something that you leave them. But it's, uh, yeah, I like doing art, I like doing portraits, all kinds of paintings. Yeah. Thank you for following the post. And, uh, yeah. I enjoy drawing, especially drawing before portraits, resolving the issues before I have to, before doing a portrait. Sometimes you don't know if it's uh, if it's worth doing the portrait, sometimes you just might be like, "Oh yeah, this looks really cool," and then you start drawing it, you start painting it, wasting your time uh, doing something like that, and and the next thing you know, it's like, "Oh, this composition is really not that good," or "Wow, this is not really." what I thought it would look like. So I think not everything is always, it might look good in the beginning, but it doesn't mean that it will look good when on paper. The idea of it might be good. I think for a study, I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty good work for the study. And thanks for joining. And I hope I can do those lives every day around the same time, around one o'clock, a little after one. 
do some study uh, work or do some work of uh, drawings do some drawings so people can learn and see how we do things this looks pretty good I think from my point of view it's uh, Maybe I'll bring this up a little bit, make it more interesting. It's, you know, the rules of threes, three of everything. So what I like to do is uh, to divide things into trees in paintings or drawings. This one is more static because his face is in the middle, but like the background, I divided the canvas in, uh, in the paper into three. So. It looks uh, so it's more dynamic. If you leave your drawings or paintings, uh, everything is in the middle and everything is of equal amounts, it makes the paintings or drawings uh, more static and less interesting. But if you do something like of trees, uh, the number of trees, let's say you do a lot of the uh, one way to probably in, uh, one way to figure it out get yourself a, a wheel color wheel and uh, a cool, nice color wheel is the one that uh, that people who decorate flowers who arrange flowers because it has it shows you how to use the colors so you can uh, so you can go and uh, it will tell you to use a lot of uh, let's say uh, like ter tertiary, a lot of uh, blue, a little bit of red, and a little uh, and even less of yellow for highlight. Or you can do the red highlight. Then that will keep your paintings more interesting and make your work more interesting, look a lot better than uh, uh, than just having a static piece of work where everything is of equal amount and. Uh, when you figure out how to, uh, with composition, you can, uh, with, uh, when you build a composition, divide the uh, place where you're going to be drawing into trees, so nothing is of equal amount. So everything is kind of of uh, different uh, amount and points of interest. Find where your points of interest are. And I learned that when I did a lot of plein air painting, I did, uh, when I was doing plein air painting, uh, uh, you have to find the points, point of interest really quickly because your light will change every 15, 20 minutes, you're gonna have a different light. So what I would do is, uh, I would go there, find the points, a point of interest, and start painting really quick. And uh, so when I started painting really quick, I would find the, uh, the start with the point of interest, and that's where I would put in most detail, because our eyes are drawn towards detail. So I would start drawing where the detail was first, and then I would continue on with the rest of the painting. And you don't have to fill in every piece, every part of a painting of the canvas. You just have to put down color in the interesting spots and build on that. Nature is kind of chaotic, and what we do when we look at it is uh, we try to make sense of it so when you're so when you uh, when you painting if you make if your painting is not very chaotic if if it tells some kind of a story it will be more pleasurable 
Tenho um bocado. Well, it doesn't take much time to learn. You can just just start doing something. Go on your computer or just set up some easy still life and start doing work there. And just start building from there. Well, like if you guys would like to, if you have any questions, let me know. But I think that should be about it for today. It's a quick sketch. I'm not going to bore you guys too long with this. So join me tomorrow at the same time. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. He's still around. See you guys tomorrow.